those are the direct things that we were looking for. But the surprises or the opportunities that come just because you're moving in a more defi- efficient direction. As an example, when we air conditioned the plant, at that point in time, our greatest, single greatest quality issue in our company for our plastic part molding was moisture in our material. To overcome that problem, potential problem, we had as many as 25 desiccant, electric resistance desiccant material dryers running constantly from May till September, October. And we still couldn't keep up. It still was our number one cause of quality issues. When we put in the air conditioning, the net result was we took out the moisture, the sweating pipes, the, all of the, the humidity from the outside and everything else. And so inadvertently, and this is what I mean by I believe it will never end, we have time after time of examples of where applying thermal to our needs has saved us money. So we were able to cut our, our desiccant dryers after we installed our air conditioning to five and virtually took out the quality issue. So we didn't eliminate the need to dry materials, but we took away the horrible part of our quality problem. Another example, one year we had a very severe snowstorm and we get lots of snow sitting uh, in the lake effect snow here. And it was so heavy on our roof that one day one of the guys looked up and noticed it was cracking the roof uh, joists. And so, and underneath it was a whole array of very expensive CNC equipment. And we have a real dilemma. How are we going to fix these boards with all this equipment down below it? We'd have to move the machines out and bring in man lifts and all that kind of stuff. And one guy off the floor came and said to us, do we have any of that tubing left that we buried in the concrete in the new part of the addition? And the guy, one of the guys said, yeah, we have a whole roll of it. And he said, well, why don't we just take some of that and put it on the roof up there and, and heat melt the... And so today, if you look at our roof, you'll see a serpentine of, of uh, the rubber tubing fastened to our roof in the area where we have our highest problems with snow buildup because of roof angles and all of that stuff and no more, and the boards are still cracked. 